donors, but sometimes they have differing views on how to go about achieving that end. News 40's Jerry Gretzinger joins us live in the newsroom with more on their latest debate. Jerry? Well, Beth, Councillor Cruz and Chief Scott aren't that far apart on this particular issue. Both want to see new foot patrols in the city. Their only point of contention is when they can begin. Cruz says he wants them to start immediately. Scott says that's a great idea, but they're just not ready. What kind of difference do you think it would make to have that extra presence? Yeah, well, I think it's safer. Most residents support the idea of expanding police beat patrols in Holyoke. Do you, do you think it would make things safer? Yes. Yeah. Would you support added foot patrols? Yes. Councillor Juan Cruz does too. Without them, he believes Holyoke would be unable to detect and disarm trouble in the city. One lesson that we learned from the terrorist attacks in America is that the CIA and the FBI were lacking in human intelligence and they are now uh, correcting that deficiency and we don't want a uh, police department to also be deficient in human intelligence because they don't have a uh, beat patrol in. Councillor Cruz says he has contacted Police Chief Anthony Scott regarding the addition of new foot patrols, but he says he's not taking him to task over it, rather hopes that the process can be expedited. The chief says it's something he's working on. Now what we have to do is divide the city up into eight sections. Scott has been trying to break the city up into new beats based on records of calls for service. Once that's been done, Scott will implement a park-and-walk style of beat patrol. Whereas he can take his cruiser and be patrolling here, get out, walk this area for an hour or two, get back in if he's got a call in this part of his beat, get his cruiser and drive over here, answer this call, and spend this time over in this area. A computer program is being designed to help develop the new beats. Now, it's that computer program that's actually the holdup. Scott says before the city can be evenly divided, every address in the city has to be entered into this program. When that's completed, he says he'll start getting those beat patrols rolling. Of course, that's good news for Cruz, as long as it doesn't take too long. Live in the newsroom, Jerry Gretzinger, News 40.